I have this urge in me to try and finish the map today. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to, I believe it is day six of our 14 day island challenge. Our main objective is still to decorate a fall and farm themed island in just 14 IRL days, whereas time traveling as well as Nintendo Online and the DLC are all allowed but no tile is to be left behind on the mainland. Plus, in the end, I would also like to have 10 villagers that actually fit the island. We're starting where we left off yesterday with like, um, you know, tree tiles and whatnot. And I feel like I need a little bit of a better um, way to communicate my, my plans. So I'm gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna attempt something and procreate and hopefully be able to show you what i want to do okay so here is our map of hokkaido now let's let's first take stock um villagers so we currently have seven villagers that we're actually going to keep which are hazel anchovy elmer drift flurry patty and crackle whereas in comparison to that we also still have two villagers that will have to leave the island this looks a little bit like like i've got murderous plans i swear i don't this is currently a seven out of ten reference wow this pencil is weird um whereas one of the villagers we could still hunt for that's something we could maybe do today and then let's take a look at the map so the current areas that we've got decorated are of course is like our entrance which is kind of like all the way over to resident services and then a little bit up then we have the little stall here in between with the little wheat field we've got nook's cranny mostly decorated with the area behind it then of course we have our apple orchard and the apple like specialty cafe and then a bit of filler things in between and then i also would kind of somewhat consider anchovies area to be done even though there's still some like fillers missing so everything colored yellow now is kind of what we've decorated so far which <laughs> i will be honest it's not really as much as i would hope i mean it's it's not really like a quarter just yet right but then at the same time the first two days we didn't really decorate so we had like 12 days in total to decorate and we've only we've only done three of those to be fair and for three days i feel like that is a quite like decent amount plus of course we have like more areas like already landscaped etc etc and then the reason why i brought you on here mainly was that i wanted to kind of try and communicate my ideas for the map because um along with like another villager hunt and probably some dlc rushing later on that might be something i want to tackle today i will be honest i have to run a few errands today so i'll actually be gone for a decent amount of the day which has me a little worried but we got this okay so let me just remove the yellow bits here we have quite like a big area um on the second tier already and i'd like for that to not go on for too much longer so i was thinking of course we have to kind of bring the cliff here from the land bridge to have like a decent size and what i might want to do is like bring this cliff out to the back and then wrap around like this right so it just kind of like i don't know makes a decent shape and so that if you walk here right from the land bridge there's still like a i don't know like room for a specific build or something and then maybe we could even like elevate something behind our house to like a higher tier or something and then in terms of cliffs i actually might want to leave it at that and make the rest of this just be um, filled with a bit of waterscaping i definitely want to attempt to have one, some more of these like you know little farms where we use like in-game pathings just because they also look quite adorable on the map i know it doesn't really matter but i kind of like to think about it and then of course we're gonna have like bun a bunch of waterscaping i was thinking that we should have something here i don't know if it's gonna be like a lake or a um, a river or something and then this waterscaping here to the left will continue somewhere and flow into the sunken area which will kind of be filled i don't know i'll just kind of do some random water shapes here so that will be kind of filled with water the same thing for this i would like to actually like cage my house in a little bit so there is going to be like some waterscaping here and then i believe there's probably going to be like a bridge somewhere here the area in the back here might be good for like either the campsite or the museum maybe i'm thinking maybe more the campsite like that could maybe be the sunk, like a sunken campsite, even if you want to call it that. 
And then a bunch of you also said that a fall fair or like festival would be good, which um, that we could try and work that in maybe in combination with like a market or something and make it like try to make it cozy if possible. I also did want to continue this waterscaping somewhere, but I don't really know how because I do want you to be able to like use all of this space here. So I don't want to just fill that with water, but I want to like connect it to something. And we do have our little path kind of sneaking past it. So that needs to like connect somewhere else too. So like the right hand side here, I will have to admit is something we need to figure out a little bit more. But I especially want to focus on kind of like this landscaping here in the back. Also, that just makes me think, you know what we could also do? We could do the fall fair and festival kind of on this part, you know? So like this part here that you walk towards to when you come from the bridge, that could be turned into like the fall fair and we could have like a ferris wheel right here so you can actually see it from like a viewing point across the sunken area um that is a lot of like scribbles and weird stuff i don't know if any of this made sense but i guess that'll be like the main plan today is to focus on all of this like left side of the um yeah the plants all right and back to animal crossing we go and of course, with that incredible explanation, <laughs> maybe we can actually work on doing that a little bit. So let's move all of the trees. Okay, so far so good. Let's start on an outline for the, uh, for the cliff. Okay, this is where we are right now. Um, I don't know if I'll bring it out more to the side where I, it's like dented in. It is dented in because of mostly the trees, but I'm not hating the way that looks. So maybe we might just keep it like that. And now we just need to fill all of that with more cliffs. cliff is filled it's not entirely like we had planned it um but then again that was just a rough sketch which is probably better that way and you know if we decide to move the trees later on we could still bring it out a little bit if we find that it like it's awkward with the areas we want to build or stuff like that but now there is an actual like um destination for our land bridge i might do like another patch of the brick code here and then we'll morph into like a different I guess dirt path again and then well here is like a good area this is where i maybe want to put the campsite i feel like it could be quite nice um to put that there like a clear view of it and then you know with like an ocean view i mean that's like a premium campsite right so we might just kind of plop that here somewhere so we can spread enough trees around it and i might incorporate a little bit more um waterscaping somewhere do a little pond for some fishing and, you know, provide some, um, provide some, um, I don't know, like a campfire, you know, like camping stuff, typical, like, I don't know, fall camping stuff, I guess. <laughs> All right. And with that now, so we've got the neighborhood here. And of course, like the path obviously will lead up here to Patty's house, but then also off to the right hand side. And I do think that we could do like a bridge, maybe like here in a diagonal way. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe we have to make it make the water flow a little bit further down so we don't waste as much land. Like I want you to have to like go to the side here, I think, and then maybe like up because like all of this is already filler. And I'm also not really super happy with it yet because there's like no cliff to climb up on and like get a better view of all of this, which I, I kind of just feel like we should have that, you know, because viewing platform, etc. I guess the bridge could be somewhere more behind Crackle's house. I never quite know for like diagonal bridges how it actually works. Like every single time I have to like concentrate for a second. Okay, so if we put it there maybe, mm, I don't know. It might be awkward in its placing and I don't know if we see it from Crackle's home, but I might want to try it. Hmm. 
Hmm, do we think this is a good spot? I think we shall try it. Okay, before I continue any more waterscaping, um, I think I'm gonna skip to the next day and see how this looks. And you know what? I'm actually gonna build the campsite. Why not? Okay, the campsite is four by four, I believe, and I'd like there to be like enough space for some trees, like two lines of trees, right? Also, I'm just thinking, so the, I think from, from the way that the bridge would be, right? The pathing would kind of lead somewhere more to the right hand side, or we could do a, a small little path here if we want to have like an area. Um, and then I believe I would like to have the incline maybe somewhere here on the right. So you go down to the left basically. And then maybe if you can stand like here and it would be nicer if like that could be an open space with like a campfire, maybe some wood chopping. Um, and then the campsite is set a little bit further to the left hand side. So maybe like there, that is relatively far to the front. But I do believe that that would be okay with like trees behind it. We could do like a tiny pond over to the left there. That could work out. Okay, let's take a look at it. This is probably the most obvious like money spot that I have ever seen, <laughs> like right in front of my house. Okay, here's the cliff. We already have a new rock that spawned. The cliff was here before. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> here is the campsite. Oh, actually that is quite cute. That is quite cute. And then you could like walk over here. We can think about what we do in front of it. That would make sense for the campsite. A little pond over to the left. I can see it in my head. And then an incline over here somewhere. Yes. Okay, let's check on the bridge. It is built. It is built. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I'm actually not mad at this. I was really not sure what that was going to look like next to Crackle's house. We could put like trees in front as well, right? So maybe you're not even going to really see it. But I think I'm okay with this. I believe I'm okay with this. All right, uh, let's connect the waterscaping. And I want to do like a pond in the back because I just, I, I want to make, I, I want to make it. Right, maybe just like this to the side here and then um, I don't know where to bring it into this. Okay, somewhat like this maybe. So I've got like two points where it's currently going into the middle, but I believe there will probably be like many more. Okay, maybe just like this, maybe just a little pond there. And then the water is connected over here. So we've done a little bit of progress already. Let me look at my, our little, let me look at our sketch. I mean, yeah, yeah. We just need to like add the stuff in the sunken area, of course, but it's, it's, I would say it's decent. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do 10 houses quickly in the DLC. Um, and I think for the video, I'll just maybe include whenever I finish the houses. So it'll just be like a very, very quick montage, luckily. I can only imagine how fast that seemed in the video. I wish it was that fast in real life. That took me probably longer than an hour. Like seriously, all the dialogue, like Lottie just blabbers your ear off. It's the most annoying thing, but we've got 20 houses decorated and uh, that's pretty good. And now I, I would say let's make this montage central today and do a little villager hunt for the um for the last villager and the last meaning just like the 10th villager we do still have two that we don't want to keep in the end so uh once again you know 10 tickets and we'll see if we find someone and if we don't find anyone in those 10 tickets then i can uh fill them using a treasure island basically i don't really know why but i wanted to include the villagers in the challenge because like the villagers are always a big big part for me but I didn't want to make it too easy. I also didn't want to make it too hard. So I thought like maybe 10 tickets is uh, somewhat okay. You know, we have to spend that time looking for them and then we can autofill. All right. Okay, here's 10 tickets. Please don't pay too much attention to my messy pockets and let's go. 
Okay, let's see what our look is like today. Okay, first one, Zucker, nope. Next one is Bamboo Island. And we have Ruby, not for the farm island. Next one is, oh, it's Antonio. Wait, do I not have him on my list for Callan too? Why am I finding all the people that I want for that island? He's cute though. I'm not a fan of the anteaters, but honestly, I don't mind Antonio. He's kind of cute. And number four is uh, mm, Barbara, of course, of course. The one who always looks like she has her eyes stitched together or like stitched closed because of her lashes. Not the right colors. Halfway there with, oh, cutie. Kurt, Kurt and Groucho both are my little head bonk babies. Um, not for this island, but I had him on Equilibrio for a long time and I really enjoyed having him there. Oh my God, another octopus? Nope. All right, take number seven, another pink one. Okay, Miranda, what is her name? Oh yeah, Miranda, I remembered. Okay, well, obviously no. <laughs> okay, and the next one is, Oh my gosh, this is Tom, right? Yeah, Mo, Mo and Tom are kind of similar-ish, I guess. Second to last, another pink villager. Are you kidding me? What is this? And last ticket. Nope, this is Ed, I think. Yeah, like the Julian knockoff kind of. All right, that was not really successful. So now I'm gonna try to think who I would want the most on my island. Okay, so I decided to get Hazel a little squirrel friend and uh, inject Sally. Let's see if that worked. I think it should be this house. And I can also go in, which is very good. <laughs> Ooh, yay, here she is. All right, Sally is coming to Hokkaido. Oh, the land bridge is not completely in the flyover. We just missed that, dang it. Okay, perfect. With Sally now all moved in, that brings our total dreamy count to 8 out of 10, and also our total villager count uh, to 10 out of 10. So we're a step closer to being done, I guess. <laughs> um, hello? Anchovy. What's what's up? Um, Anchovy. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> absolutely not. You really should stay. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get a coffee and prepare Montage Central for you, which you've already seen. And then I'm going to have to run some errands and I might only be back tonight. So we'll see how this goes, but I'll check back in with you and we'll either chat about what I want to do or I'll show you what I did, etc, etc. All right, let's go. And many, many hours later, here I am again checking in um, just before I go to bed, of course, of course. Uh, you know how it works by now, you know? Um, I did do a little bit more, as you might be able to tell from the map in the bottom right corner, but also wasn't able to play as much today as in the previous days, unfortunately. So we're going to have to catch up tomorrow. And you might also guess... No, we did not finish the map today, but who knows? Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow we can finish the DLC and finish the map. That would be like, that would be like great, honestly. <laughs> That being said though, honestly, we did quite a bit of map progress. We um, actually shoveled lots of dirt, we made lots of water, and I'm quite happy with it. And now I'm gonna briefly show you what I did. So I didn't work anymore on the right-hand side. Um, I just started working a little bit on the left here in front of resident services. I thought about making like a pumpkin carving station here before, but I kind of feel like I'm not gonna have the space because um, I wanted to have some water here. Now I added some like pathing underneath this gazebo and added like some trees. I don't know if it's gonna 100% stay like this. And then what I just did is I made this little cliff just with uh, some water, just because I wanted there to be a little bit of water when you kind of walk here. And so now if you just run past, you're honestly just gonna see like a little stream. And then um, because I, excuse me, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh my God, not the, not the babies being angry. Flurry is the worst. Excuse me, Crackle. Okay, Crackle, this is, this is dangerous territory. She's like a stale potato chip. Doesn't get me at all. Crackle, that is actually very mean. Oh, Flurry's fine again. <laughs> Crackle is upset, y'all. Crack Crackle is angry. And then Flurry just, she's like, I don't know what happened. I'm like, just happy. <laughs> 
gosh. What drama at this hour, please, y'all behave yourselves. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, remember when we found this sign, this like please water sign? I thought, well, number one reason is because the water in by itself looked a little weird on the map. So I wanted to have some type of like farm or garden or whatnot. So, um, and then I was like, okay, it's close to Fleury who loves nature stuff. We do have the sign and it's close to resident services. So it could be like almost like an official kind of flower garden. And then we put up the please water sign like right here. And then what I did is I planted like full rows of flowers, but for now I ran through a couple of them. So like they still have to grow a little bit. Um, that was like one of the ideas I had. We could also just have it as full rows or we could also remove a few of them and put some weeds there. Um, obviously, we need some trees around. We need some more decorations around. And since this is like a flower farm or like garden, I don't know, like I don't think I can use too many flower fillers around it. So that's gonna be interesting. But um, yeah, so we have a little bit of a flower area. I made some water, added some log stakes, and then we just have um, some pathing done, although I did see that I just abandoned it over here. So, so that's that's great. Let me just finish this real quick. That's almost like a hard shape in between Flurry and Crackle who just had a major fight. I don't know. But yeah, maybe something like that. And then, um, you know, you can just go up. The path will kind of continue on uh, onwards to Patty. Or also I was thinking maybe we could do... Um, little like plank pathways to their house because obviously these two uh, still need some pathing and then do the same th uh, thing here. So the pathing will kind of just go somewhat to the bridge here and then there will be just like some planks leading to Patty. Uh, and most of this is gonna be, well, you know, filler. <laughs> I do actually think I'll go back to adding a cliff here just because like being able to climb up here and get a better view is just gonna be like much more important to me, I think. Just to demonstrate, I'm gonna put this tiny little cliff up. Now it is gonna be like a little bit further to the back even though, to the back and to the left, and then you're gonna see the cliff a little bit better. But like, I think if we can get this type of view and then there's like a Ferris wheel on the other side, like I think that would really um, be quite a nice, uh, a nice area. I feel like I don't have enough farms on this island just yet for it to be like a farm core. It's okay though, it's mainly supposed to be like a fall island and then, you know, we still do have a lot of areas left. And we could maybe do like a major like big farm on like this right hand side where I'm kind of looking towards to and we'll figure out how to like properly incorporated. I've also seen some of you recommending like corn mazes, which I think is a fun idea, but I'll be honest, I don't think I want to make those because I don't see myself creating a corn maze in Animal Crossing and actually thinking it's like super aesthetic and fitting the entire vibe of the island. I don't know if that makes sense, but like when I think of corn maze, first of all, of course, I don't have like the items I need in this uh, game, kind of, I, I feel like. Oh, hi, Sally. Oh my God. Oh, she is she, was she, was she rolling her eyes at me? Oh my God, she is freaking a, really, Sally? I just sat down to hang out with you. Okay, no, no need to push me around. Wow, okay, that's kind of rude, you know? I have feelings too. I know I'm just some random person on the internet, but I've got feelings. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, cord maze, items. I feel like I don't have the perfect items um, for it. And then, I, it, I don't know, it would just be like a bunch of fences put up in like a confusing way, right? I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do that. So I, I might not, unfortunately. See, this area makes me happy because like you actually get like a full on uh, full on like picture frame that looks finished. <laughs> you know what? It's okay though. Again, it's okay. We still have like a decent amount of time and um, tomorrow we'll focus on map and DLC maybe and then we'll we'll figure it out along the way. I don't know how many times I'll say that during this series, but yeah. Okay, that was a long explanation and blabbering part. Um, so I'm gonna leave you to it. Thank you all for watching day number six of our 14 day island challenge. I've been having lots of fun and uh, thank you all for your kind comments so far. I've really been enjoying reading those as well. 
even if I'm always uh, terrible at responding to them, I'm really, really sorry. But um, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe so you don't miss the following days. And then I would say until I see you in the next episode, have an awesome time. Bye everyone.